If a football team could be formed, we might, in the years to come, have enough college enthusiasm to designate ours as a real college, and not a gathering place for those who do not know what a live college should be. When Uncle Eb started, they were called the Old Gold Knights. They didn't know how to play football, and they wanted to have a team. He said they were all black and blue after that game was over, and it was a two-game season, but that's a start. George Flippen is a great story. I mean, partly because where did he come from? They weren't recruiting anybody in those days. It was whoever happened to go to the university and happened to turn out for practice. George Flippen was a natural because he was an athlete. He held a couple of school records in track. He had won championships as a heavyweight wrestler. He was the biggest guy on the team, and he was African-American. He was the first black football player in the Midwest, and one of the first three in the country. And it kind of went mostly unnoticed because, again, Nebraska has some anonymity in its area that it was, it was way out in the boondocks and the plains that nobody paid attention to. Of course, there was controversy with some folk, but it never seemed to have affected Nebraska and their players. Football is a vile sport that brings out the worst in our morally upstanding young men. This rival game turns the most innocent and Christian son into a snarling, raging beast of a man ready to pounce on his opponent like animals in a jungle. Football is a sin and it must be outlawed to protect the bright young men of Nebraska. What I found most interesting about the, the bill that the Nebraska legislature was considering banning the sport was not only did they want to penalize anybody who played the sport, you could be fined for watching the sport. I think the initial reference was in some way derogatory to these people out on the plains, you know, they're eating bugs to survive. But the actual reference was that these are such hardy individuals, if they have to resort to eating bugs to survive, to stay there, they'll do that. That's what they're going to do. And so I think that the application of that name to the football team, basically, at that time, if in fact anybody ever did refer to them in print as, as bug eaters, was, was more of a positive kind of description that these are hardy individuals, these are rugged individuals, that they'll do what they have to do to survive and not be driven away. I think if they had instead chosen the Nighthawks, Nebraska Nighthawks has a little bit more of a ring to it. I think the name might have survived, but uh, Bug Eaters, that one, uh, that was born under a bad sign. Go!